the featured artist, Amina Scott.
Thank you. Ooh, I'm, I'm up here sweating. <laughs> Thank you everyone for coming out tonight to the Jazz and Heritage um, Foundation for their concert series. Um, it's an honor to be a part of this um, and it's an honor to be on the bill with such a lovely array of local New Orleans musicians um, for the next two weekends. So be on the lookout for more, more shows that are gonna be happening here. Um, so that last tune that you guys heard was written by uh, the great composer Johnny Mandel and it's entitled Emily. And the tune before that was an arrangement that I did of a Cole Porter standard entitled All of You. Yeah, you can call for that. And um, so we're gonna continue with some original music. Um, and this next tune is entitled Homeward Bound. And I hope you guys enjoy it.
I don't think I've ever played that song like that before. <laughs> Jalen, would you agree? Yeah. yeah. Um, but that's what happens when you have such creative minds and you bring that on the bandstand, such as these fine gentlemen have done tonight. You know? That was amazing. Thank you. <laughs> Whew. So um, we're going to play another original tune of mine. I wrote this. I guess three years ago now, it was 2019, and I wrote this around the time I graduated college. And it's about um, basically how sometimes you have to go through adversity in order to get to 
your next level in life, whatever that may be, your next achievement, you know? Um, and this tune is entitled, And So It Goes.
Thank you. Um, I want to take the second to reintroduce who you all have been listening to tonight. On the, let's see, who am I going to go to first? On the vibraphone. <laughs> uh, so this, this dude, he's like one of my best friends. Um, we actually went to Florida State together, go Knowles. Uh, we were both there for grad school, and we went through a lot while we were there, as he could also probably tell you. Um, but I'm so happy that, you know, the universe put us together, and we met, and we bonded, and we got to play a lot together, and get to know each other musically. Um, so without further ado, on the vibraphone, Jalen Baker. And on the piano is someone who, if you have live in New Orleans or from New Orleans, you've probably heard this man a lot. <laughs> he plays like literally every gig. And I was making fun of him because he's playing a lot for this series with different bands. And so I was like, you know, you're like the resident artist in residence for this concert series that they have here. And you should probably get like an air mattress or something, <laughs> put it back there. <laughs> Let's make it happen. But anyway, um, Oscar is great. I feel like every time I play with him, I always learn something. I always get a little bit more creative on the bandstand. So I love having him on my gigs when he's available. So without further ado, Oscar Rosignoli. <laughs> and our drummer this evening. Because let me tell y'all, I got really lucky. <laughs> Really, really lucky because he's leaving town tomorrow. So I'm happy that he was here, able to be here tonight. Um, we met some time ago because we sat in at a jam session, and I didn't really know who he was at the time. And then I w went was talking to one of my friends about him, and they were like, "Oh my God, you do know who that is? You don't know who that is?" Yeah, so you're pretty famous. <laughs> but. Um, but no, like, for just for the same reasons I love having Oscar, like, I love having Jameson, you know, having him on the bandstand and playing with us next. I've learned so much from the rehearsals we had, and just, like, he always is a great decision maker, as you have probably heard. Music on the bandstand and off the bandstand, a great decision maker, and also a great person and an amazing player, and I'm so lucky to be able to be playing next to this amazing drummer. Um, he probably didn't need a real, an introduction, but I gave him one anyway. Jameson Ross on the drums. <laughs> okay, so um, now we're going to play a tune that has become one of my favorites since I first heard it, and. It was written by a New Orleans legend, and his name is Ellis Marsalis. And he has a lot of tunes in his songbook. Um, there's actually a book called The Silver Book that many of his tunes are in. But this one's not in there, so whoop-de-doo. Um, <laughs> but it's a very beautiful and well-written tune, and we were going to play it for you guys. So without further ado, this is Orchid Blue by the great Ellis Marsalis. Thank you. 
That was an original tune of mine entitled In My Dreams, and it's fairly new. So y'all are some of the first people to hear it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I wrote it about a month ago. Um, we have one more tune for you all tonight, um, but I just want to get a couple of quick thank yous in. So first, thank you to the Jazz and Heritage Foundation for having this amazing concert series and having me be a part of it. Um, I've been to this venue before to hear, I think, AT and Charles like a couple of years ago, and it sounded great. And so I'm so honored to be playing this the same stage. Um, and then I'd also like to thank WWOZ. I listen to them all the time, and I think they're one of the greatest radio stations in the world. And even when I'm not in New Orleans, I check y'all out. I have the app on my phone. I stream you guys all the time. I am dedicated. And I love the work that you guys do in the community and also for live streaming this on, I think you guys' have a Facebook page um, and on, also on the radio. Yes, maybe. Eh. Not on, not on the radio. We're on the Facebook page, though, so that's all that matters. Um, <laughs> for all eternity. Um, and then lastly, well, second to last, I would like to thank all these wonderful musicians. Jalen Baker on vibraphone, Jameson Ross on the drums, Oscar Rossignoli on the piano. And last but not least, I wanna thank every one of you guys, each and every single one of you, for coming out on a Friday night. You could have been anywhere else, but you're here in this room with us. So thank you. <laughs> And so for our last tune, this is a tune that's written by the great drummer, actually one of my favorite drummers, um, Tony Williams, and it's entitled, There Comes a Time. So I hope you guys enjoy it. There Comes a Time.
Thank you.